last, I'd say four to six videos that we've put out have everything to do with creating online programs, um, eBooks. I mean, I've gone down the list of a lot of different ideas here. And before we dig into the video, I want to be really clear. If right now we are in April of 2020, most of the world is shut down, right? It's not just in the U.S. It's happening everywhere. If you're not using this time to go online with your business or create a product or create an online service for your clients, then I don't know what you're doing, right? And here's the thing. Like this, this is hopefully something that will help you and encourage you. Most coaches that I'm helping right now have transitioned everything that they're doing about three to four weeks ago. All right. That was back in March, early March. People who are waiting right now, business owners that are, are wanting to write it out. I, I don't know what to say. And if you're following me on this channel, you know that I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped creating videos. I haven't stopped working. Um, we've ramped up what we've done significantly uh, over the last month. Okay. And it's very critical though, but before we dig in to understand that your business is up to you, you get to decide where you go. And you can either be hesitant, like most people are, or you can step up and be a leader. And I have to say that before we talk about today's topic, because none of this matters, like creating an online product, none of that matters unless you like actually just do it. All right. I don't, I'm not here to fill your head with ideas or try to get you to chase some bright, shiny object. That's not me. Um, I'm here to give you like actionable steps that will help you. This way you can utilize the time that you do have. You can turn off Netflix and you can start to turn on your business brain and go make money during this time and go add value to your clients' lives. And you can start to expand your message. All right. Now, today's topic is how to create the best product, right? And I put the best product in quotes. And I did that because a lot of people, I would say most business owners, when they think about creating an online program or an offline program, it really doesn't matter. They try to make it perfect. And because they try to make it perfect, they don't end up doing it because your product will never be perfect. All right. And when we create the best product, that means we know when we launch it, it's the best version of it right now. And we know we can tweak it and make it better and better and better as time goes on. And that's been my approach from day one. When I first came out with a digital product, this was, um, only for the kids that I trained. Uh, this was over five years ago. And I'll, t I'll give you a little bit of background of how I did it. And I promise you, if, if you just follow these steps, it will work for you. But you have to follow each step. All right. And I have the steps on here. Okay, so very simple. The first thing I did is I talked to Mr. Jones and Mrs. Jones. I talked to my current clients. And if you know anything about me, I have a soccer training company. I've had that company for a long time now. We specialize on, right now we specialize in group training and we specialize in mental training. And the mental training is all done online, the group training is done in person. And what I did though is I didn't go create a product until I talked to my clients. 
and I talked to the parents and I said, hey, I'm thinking about creating an online program that Johnny can follow from home. Here's what I feel like is going to be included. Is this something you guys would buy if I create it? Right? And I went to every single client. Here's what I didn't do. I didn't send everyone a text. I didn't send everyone a tweet. I didn't tag anyone on, on Instagram. I talked to people like a normal human being. All right? And that took a long time. Not only did I do that with the parents, I did it with the kids too. I got the kids all excited about it. The kids that I trained. And I said, hey, I'm coming out with this thing. Like, I want to make sure this is something you're going to go through. Will that be something that you can commit to, Johnny? Now I'm talking to Johnny. All right? So now I have the parents on board. I have the kid on board. I have everyone on board that needs to be on board here. All right? But before I picked up the video camera to shoot one video, I got people excited. All right? I wasn't running Facebook ads. I wasn't running Instagram ads. I, was, I did not do any of that. All right? And I want that to be very clear. I went to just go talk to the people that I know. Now, let's say I didn't have any clients. Well, I'm going to go online at that point build an online following and then start to talk to the online following and do the same thing. Hey guys, I'm thinking about creating this program. Is this something you want to do? All right. And then I get feedback. So you talk and then you get feedback. Now, if I talk to everybody and they're like, no, that sounds stupid. Trust me. I wouldn't have spent the time to go make the program. All right. I hope that's clear because a lot of people try to create stuff that people don't want or people aren't aware of, or they're not aware that they need. I made sure that Mr. and Mrs. Jones and Johnny needed this because I asked them about it, I told them about it, I got them excited about it, all right? Remember, there was not one email that was sent. There was not one text that was sent to promote it. I talked to people, all right? And how did I do that? Well. I put the time in. I spent years building my offline business. Like before that happened, it, that was six years of work before I did anything online, which is why I felt good doing it online because I already had a track record of clients who've already gotten results with me in person, right? That goes back to uh, two videos ago when I talk about if you go online, it's easier to go online when you actually have proven results with clients. You have an advantage if you're good at what you do. You have a disadvantage if you're just making crap up. Like I know a lot of people do online and it sucks. Okay, so first I talked to Mr. and Mrs. Jones. After I got validation, I already got parents to tell me that they're gonna buy it. I didn't even tell them how much it was. I, but I got the validation. Then I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna go create a small outline and a portion of the program, okay? Notice how I said that, a small outline and portion of the program. And how did I do that? Well, I looked at, all right, here's what I do. I'm a technical trainer. Here's, are some, here's some drills that I know players need help with that they can do by themselves. They don't need me. All they need is a soccer ball and a couple of cones, all right? And then it was like, all right, what are the, the different topics that I'm going to focus on here? And I create the outline and then I created a, a small portion of the program. So I created the first week of the program and that program, uh, the first week has five videos. Okay. So I created five videos. Those five videos did not take me that long. All right. I did that within... Um, I believe I did those five videos within an hour, right? They're not like three hour training videos, right? They're short, they're to the point. And again, I just created one week's worth of videos, right? Then I knew, okay, people have already told me they want it. 
They've already given me the validation. I have the kids excited. I have the parents excited. I already have something built. So what did I do? Well, I went to create a landing page. All right. And if I, if I still had that page, I, I would show it to you right now. I don't because I've evolved that program a lot over the past multiple, multiple years. Um, but all I put was I, I had a landing page with a video that showed me doing a couple of different moves and exercises of the program. And there was a button below it said, buy now. Like, I'll tell you that video that I put out was not good. I wasn't talking. It just showed highlights of the program. Like knowing what I know now, <laughs> I could have made it way better. But again, I already knew that my clients were going to buy. So I wasn't worried about making things perfect. I was like, all right, I need a page. There needs to be a, a quick video. There needs to be a buy button. That buy button will take them to a checkout page where they will purchase the program. Right? So that's what I did. And with that, once I had that ready, what I did, uh, back in the day, my email system was down that week. So I had to individually email every single person a customized email with their kid's name. And I talked about how this program would help them. That was the thing that took me the longest. And I sent that to a lot of people because I have a lot of customers in my database. I have a lot of people who have who had come onto my email list who hadn't bought before. I sent it to every single person, right? The product was $47 initially, right? And I told parents the first three days it's $47, then it's going to $97. And I will never forget how it worked, all right? And this is the first product I ever created. Keep in mind, I already got people to tell me before I created it that they want to buy, all right? And I remember launching that program in the morning it was on a Friday morning. I sent my first email to the person that I, that I knew was going to like, it was uh, for sure they're going to buy. <laughs> um, I sent that around six o'clock in the morning. All right. So 6 a.m. is when I started sending emails. I stopped sending emails probably around 11 in the morning. Right. And I wasn't just copy paste. I was writing personalized emails. Same sort of content, but I was personalizing towards their kid, how they would benefit from it. Now, because I took the time to do that, I knew personally that, you know what? I think this is gonna do pretty well. Now, I didn't have a lot of expectation, but I knew pe some people would buy it, right? And the rest of the day, I sat by my computer and I kept clicking refresh on my email and I remember I got my first sale like because I didn't look at my email uh, like I wasn't checking things I was just sending out the emails uh, I got my first sale I think it was probably 15 minutes after I sent the first email and why well I told parents hey I'm going to be sending you emails early in the morning on Friday I told like I pre-scripted it Right? And I created urgency. Hey, if you get this in the first three days, you get it for half off. Right? I didn't just randomly do it. I, it was all calculated. And by the time I got done writing my emails, I believe I already had, um, I think it was like 20 people had already bought. So like $800. All right? Actually, no, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was around $1,000 that happened once I got done writing the emails. And what I realized was like, wow, this is, this is crazy. Like, I can't believe that I can make that many sales in the, with the work that I did. And then by the end of that day, total it was $2,400 in sales, okay? Now, I just told you exactly how I did it. Talked to Miss Jones, talked to the kid. 
I created an outline, a small portion of the program. I did not create the entire program. And what I did was I told everyone in the email before they bought, you will have access to week one of the program as soon as you buy, All right? And here's what I did. After everyone, after a lot of people paid for it, I went to go finish the next week because I, I bought myself time. I gave everyone a week to go through the first week. Um, and I went to go finish the second, third, and fourth week of the program, All right? And I want you to think, if you follow the steps that I just laid out and you do that, how, can you, how could you not succeed with your first program, right? And here's the funny thing. After I did that, I, in my head, I was like, oh, okay, well, now everyone who's bought is going to want more products and programs. And I stopped doing the formula that I just showed you, right? I did not talk to Mr. and Mrs. Jones again about creating a new program. So you can imagine the next two products that I created didn't do as well initially, right? Then I realized, you know what? Okay, I need to go back to that formula. Tell people what I wanna do. Tell, tell them how it's gonna help them. Create an outline, like go through the process. I still do the exact same thing now, right? Years later, and after I sold that first product, after we did, it was a $2,400 day, right? I realized, you know what? I can do this online. I've proven to myself, if I can make $1 doing this, if I can get one person to do it, I can get 1,000 people to do it. And at that time, I just didn't know how to get 1,000 people. And I, I started to look at YouTube. I hired a coach. I hired someone who's like one of the best people on the planet, all right? I paid him a lot of money. I learned, all right? I didn't do everything on my own. I, I invested my money <laughs> into a coach, right? Then I figured out YouTube. Uh, that soccer channel right now has like 90,000 subscribers, right? Pumped out a lot of content on there. Then I was able to use the same skills to help a lot of coaches that are in our mastermind. Help a lot of people who've gone through our ebooks. I've been able to use the this template to do everything, right? So I'm not hiding anything here. I'm showing you this. This is how you do it. This is the smart way of working online, because you're getting data from customers or prospects. They're telling you how to create the best product. They're telling you if they want it. People don't. If people go outside today, and they're not hungry, they're not going to go get a hot dog, right? If they're hungry, they're going to go eat a hot dog, but the, the guy with the hot dog stand has to be there. He probably needs to market himself a little bit. He needs to tell people about what he's doing. He needs to tell people about when he's going to be out there, right? He's not going to go out there if no one's eating out. He's not going to waste his time. Same thing here, all right? This is why you have to go talk to people, and you have to be good at talking to people. And if you're shy, if, you're, if you feel like, oh, I, I'm not good at sales, you're not selling anything. You're asking them questions. You know, would you use this? I'm thinking about creating this thing. Like, be cool about it. Thinking about creating this thing. Do you think you guys would use this? Cool. Why not? Okay, well, okay, great. Why would you use it? All right? Ask people questions. And I can tell you just from experience of succeeding and failing. I've failed a lot when I've put out products because I chose not to use this outline. This outline here, if you start from absolute scratch, even if you have zero clients right now and you build an online following or you start to build clients in person, whatever it is, this formula here, if you stick to that for 12 months, is proven to get sales. And it doesn't matter to me if you're selling a training program online, consulting online, if you're selling ice cream, I don't care what you're doing. 
right? This works. Here's why most people don't do it this way though, because they don't put their ego to the side. They think, I know what everyone wants. I'm gonna create something that I feel like every single person wants, and this is the thing that's gonna make the most money because no one's doing it yet. Can't think that way. You need to go talk to people, All right? And I know I've said that 100 times already, but I'm saying it because it's important. And I know if you miss that step, you can't succeed online. You can't get clients to pay for something that they don't think they need. Right? It just makes sense. It's logically, it's simple. Right? And personally, I feel lucky that I, I did that <laughs> before I created my first product. Um, and to recap, you go talk to people. You create an outline and a small portion of the program. You make sales, and then you go finish the program. Don't do that in a different order. And I can tell you just from experience that that works. And when you follow those instructions, you will see it work for you. you you're going to be shocked, but you got to talk to people. Like, be willing to do that. You got to create an outline. Like it's got to be organized. You can't put a crap product together. I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you like, talk to people, sell it before you sell it before you sell it, <laughs> right? Um, set it up with the outline. Get a sales page together. Finish the program. Now, if you're watching this and you're like, all right, I want to take my expertise I have up here. I already have results with clients, and I want to create a program, and I need help selling it. I don't know what the sales page looks like. I don't know how to set up the checkout system. I don't know how to, to deliver the product. Like where are clients going to log in and, and view this product? What, what happens after they finish the product? Or am I going to sell something else? Like if those are questions you have, reach out to me. I'm here to help. And guys, like I know I say this, I've said this a couple of times over the last week. I'm not this YouTube guru, right? I don't care about being popular on YouTube. I care about helping you. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm creating these types of videos. Because I cut through the BS that I know is online right now um, about how to sell stuff, how to go online. I'm showing you what, what works. Obviously, I'm showing you what works for me too. right? And I've built online brands from scratch. When I started OnlineSellerSales.com, no one knew about me, right? When I started this YouTube channel, started from scratch. This YouTube channel in the next four to five years will have over 100,000 subscribers. Why? Well, that's because I'm gonna be really consistent and I follow the pattern that I'm showing you here. I ask people what they want. What do they wanna see on here? If it's something I've already experienced, I'm gonna do it, all right? So, if you need help with any of this stuff, if you want to build an online brand, you want to start selling digital products, uh, you want to start selling consulting, any of that, reach out to me. My number is 210-960-5771. Text me. I'm going to get back to you. Like, the only way I won't get back to you is if you text me at like 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right? I'll get back to you the next morning. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you can learn and implement here when you do that you'll get results and i know when you get results you're gonna probably want to work with me on a deeper level all right that's why i created this video i want you to use this don't just think oh that's awesome i i should do this later on you should do this today you should absolutely do this today don't wait all right that's it guys i'll holler at you later